Peggy 16. Octavia, your turn. I need a breathtaking, heart-boggling, mind-wrenching story for a new chapter of my book. You know, I keep thinking about that strange troll. He kept swearing he stopped eating people and started reading books. Maybe we should have let him finish talking. In the north, no one cares for Chinwag. And talking to a freaking troll, the only good troll is a dead one! The troll would have died eventually, as will all of us. Everything is dust, and to dust it shall return. Come on, Harem. Your doom and gloom might just bore you to death someday. <laughs> then again, I somewhat agree with you, old grumbler. Oh, it sure was fun to turn all those scoundrels who challenged us to dust. <laughs> Too much dust for my taste, boys. Do you remember how we almost drowned Jubilost? Trying to save the cart stuffed with his precious books? Save the cart, <sighs> We should have given the books to the poor kobolds. That way, at least someone would have read them. <laughs> <laughs> if it weren't for my ingenious almanac, the world would have never known how a handful of rundown shacks turned into this adequate barony. We're about to create a damn fine new story. 